All right, I'm always glad to be here on restitution. It's always uh, therapy for me. A time to just want to talk about things we're going through personally. Um, it could be my issue, your issue. And trust me, I got a lot of messages. Um, some people practically talk to me one on one, get my number. And the cost of trying to get a copy of my book, um, we get to talk about some serious um, issues. So it's, it's always therapeutic to be here on the restitution so welcome to the restitution <laughs> um variety tv you know what to do you subscribe yeah and then you get to watch and also ask your questions you have feedbacks please talk to us on restitution so um there's been serious drama interesting drama on social media i mean i, I like the fact that we don't have to search to, to you know too far <laughs> <laughs> or try to be too creative about um, finding entertainment everywhere we turn. There's somebody having some issue here, some drama here, and it goes on and on like that. But one person's story that has been trending for days has been that of this beautiful Nigerian actress who had a child with some guy, and things didn't work out. One thing led to another. They're not together, but they have a son. And um, she, she she did an interview recently and talked about herself, talked about the marriage. She had evidence and stuff like that. And I've seen different people's reaction. Now, I'm going to talk on um, based on people's reaction to her, her story, her interview. That's what we'll talk about. But before then, hey, this is a copy of my book. I am a woman and it's um, available in Kano. Uh, some bookshops in Kano, you can get this. Um, MMR uh, Bookshop, Adobaro Mall, you can get a copy of this and you can talk to me directly on my social media handle for a copy of the book. You can talk to me on Instagram, yes, Minobadiki on Instagram, and um, I will find a way to ship a copy of this book to you. This is a must read for every woman. It's a lovely book, I tell you. It is. It talks about um, some unpopular women in the scriptures and how they were able to, you know, stay strong, stand strong, and make huge difference in the world. So, a copy of the book. We can always talk <laughs> about it. Um, outside Carnum, just contact me, and um, I will make sure you get a copy of the book. We're shipping to Abuja. We're also sending some to Lagos. So if you're in Lauren, Lokoja, Kaduna, let us know. We'll find a way to get um, a copy of the book. Mm. I am a woman to you. That's me. That's me. Yeah, me. Okay. <laughs> so let's quickly talk about this beautiful um, Nigerian actress. Now, um, I'll talk from some of the uh, reactions I've seen. I've heard people say, oh, think about your child. I've heard people say she's depressed. I've heard people say she hadn't moved on. I've heard different um, opinions been shared online and one-on-one -on -one with um, people and um, first of all I will say she has every right to hurt the way she chooses to hurt we're different we're so different and the truth is you you can't you can't teach people um, a course you haven't or a class you haven't graduated from you can't begin to school people on it. If you haven't um, been in her shoes, you will ordinarily just criticize her and say, Oh, what's the big deal? Is she the first person to be had broken? Is she the first person to be this and that? That's because you've never been in such position. And hey, if you're in that position, there's every tendency you'll do something different or you will act differently. Well, that's why we're different. That's why we're unique. And that's the beauty about how God created us, about how it be, us being human. I mustn't think the way you think. I mustn't react the way you're reacting or the way she's reacting. We all have different patterns and styles and all of that that we do things. But there's one thing we need, we need, 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 need to focus on is the fact that this woman has a child, right? Good. And trust me, 
I have, I don't know her one on one. And before today, I used to assume she has, you know, the something, whatever it is. But I, I honestly today will tell you that I don't think anybody loves this woman's child as much as she loves her child. Fact. Fact. I don't think anybody will care for that child as much as she would care for the child all right and um as much as we want to talk about she's still why is she talking she's still hurting and stuff that's like what i talked about the last time here when i talked about when women hurt when a broken woman hurt and then you find yourself in her life after that incident because that's uh, 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 what's happening right now? We're in a live after the incident. Now, if you find yourself in her life after the incident, you just feel she hadn't moved on. No, there's every tendency she had moved on. But the memories, the hurt, the pain, the scars are still there. So every time she talks about it, either as a reaction to a comment that has been made or an interview that was done, or she just wants to talk, she just wants to vent. You still see that pain. That, that's undeniably there. The pain is still there. The hurt is still there. Because the scars are there. All right? So, but it doesn't mean she hadn't moved on. I actually think she had moved on. But the scars are there. And it hurts. And every time she remembers, every time she says something that warrants her reaction, she goes really there. So, yeah, there's hurt, there's pain. And look, she cares for her son she wants to take care and she will definitely take care of herself and her child right where's the money gonna come from i don't see her in movies i don't see her acting movies that much so she needs a source of livelihood she needs a source of income so if creating content from her experience will bring money in why not i mean would you tell me how to sell my story let me tell my own story let me tell my own story my own way and when i find out that telling my story will bring money in for me and my child i will do i'll just do it i will do it because it's going to put food on the table of my child if anything goes wrong to this woman all of you saying oh you're not thinking about your child you're not thinking about your child is going to see this your child is going to see that if anything happens to this woman who's going to take care of that child oh the man hmm okay but if she's still around and this child is still around and they're together who's going to feed them who's going to clothe them where will they stay who will pay their rent they have bills to pay or rather she has bills to pay and she wants to send this boy to a good school she want to give him a life she never had excuse me so now you're gonna tell me for instance how to take care how to you know cater for my child excuse me it's me and if i feel selling my story putting my truth out there will bring money oh why not so I don't have an issue with her, but this is where I, I think um, certain people in her life should step in. It's the point of forgiveness. Obviously, she hasn't forgiven this man. And to be honest with you, we don't know the truth. Something happened in that relationship or marriage. Something happened, something very deep that we're not opportuned to. It's either she like i think i read someone's comment that it's a person was like i think it was a comedian the person said that something deeper happened to this woman that she has not talked about i agree with that person i think there's something she must have seen she must have heard she knows and it's haunting her and she hadn't um opened up or spoken about it or better still who knows maybe she's meeting a therapist talking to the therapist and the person had told her the therapist had told her that to heal she needs to do this she needs to pull all of this out well it's a process healing is a process forgiveness is a process and if that's what she wants to do so be it so what i am saying as far as this issue is concerned is this woman has the right to hurt the way she chose us to hurt but there is a place for certain important people in her life where they need to hold her down they need to hold her down because um 
um, the heart is there, the pain is there, which ordinarily people say, oh, you just get over it. What's the big deal? Just forgiving all of that. No, it's not that simple. It's not that simple. It's a process. And sometimes you fall. You have to start again. All right. You have to start again. Forgiveness does not mean that you don't feel pain. Forgiveness does not mean that you don't hurt again. Like I said earlier, the scars are there, the pains are there. So she'll feel them once in a while. She'll get, she fall. She falls short of the whole process. She returns, start again, and learn to like, you know, I'll start strong. I won't give this person the reaction this person wants from me. I will work on this because I need to be mentally healthy for my child. I need to be um, strong for this boy. I need to just teach him some values and all of that. So maybe I'll stop battering the man. I'll stop giving this man this reaction and focus that energy on my child. So let's talk about forgiveness us quickly on this um, episode of the restitution it's a two-way street you forgive someone you also get some peace there's some reconciliation with your spirit there's this thing this this sentiment you feel that's where healing starts when forgiveness takes place so it's it's an act of letting go and when people master the act of letting go they're very good at forgiving they're very good to say you know what i might remember because the scars are still here but i have forgiven you i will let this go all right and um forgiveness is um very crucial to our healing and to our growth as human beings um men women all of us at some point we've also needed forgiveness we also asked for forgiveness to be forgiven so what i'm saying is we have to support ourselves forgive one another to get to that point where it becomes easy for us that when we hurt we can forgive and just continue growing now the fact people forgive you um it doesn't mean or rather the fact you forgive someone it, it doesn't necessarily mean you guys are love but back to lovey dovey no it's just that i don't um i have forgiven you i don't hold you um, in that bondage again and myself i have set myself free i have set you free and most importantly i have snatched back that power i had given you because that's it if you still hold on to some hurt to some pain and still say look i'm not going to forgive this person what you do is you keep reminiscing on that particular drama or issue or incident or the pain you start magnifying it and with time it becomes resentment pure hatred for the person and when you feel that way i always ask myself this question this person you hate so much if this person drops dead would you celebrate would you be happy no so why the resentment why the resentment for crying out loud some of us have gotten to that point where you're like i forgive you but every time i see something that looks like you i go boom start again i'm still angry i start cussing i am so mad the bitterness everything consumes me but hey what do i do how can i forgive and not feel that way or how can i see you stay in the same area with you and not really feel offended how do I let it go? How do I master the art of letting go? I will tell you, first of all, is for you to know that forgiveness is inside us. It is embedded inside us. It is deep. So it's not about, oh, mm -hmm. they say forgive. I will just forgive. No, it's something from inside. It's a time you sit down when you tell yourself, I have to forgive. It comes from inside here. So you have to search for it, look for it, find it. It's a feeling, and I tell you, it's more like a human grace. The grace God gives us is like now you have the opportunity to let somebody enjoy that grace, and then you're giving the person. It's a grace of you've done wrong, but I have cleaned everything. All right, and you can live your life. So, why we should forgive? How do we forgive? I'll tell you. Stop being in denial that you are not hurt. 
that's it. When they like, I know your heart. I know you're angry. Oh, the anger. Stop saying, I am not angry now. I'm not hot. Everything is okay. Everything. No, everything is not fine. You are angry. And listen, you have the right to be angry. You have the right to feel the way you feel. Oh, you disappointed in yourself. You feel so terrible. Oh, I allowed myself to be used so cheaply. Yes. No problem. We we be vulnerable enough that look, I hurt myself. This happened to me because of this take responsibility. Don't be in denial. Acknowledge the fact that you're hurting. Acknowledge the fact that look, something went wrong because of choices I have made. Now, when you acknowledge that, that is where the true forgiveness starts from. Where you can say, okay, I've done this, but listen, because at that point, you've snatched the power back. Now, it's I'm in total control of how I feel. I'm in control of this whole situation. But I need to feel good. And who's in control of me feeling good? It is me. It's you. You're in control of that. So you start working on that. It's, it's a painful process. It's a painful process because you have to be in your dark. You have to fight this battle. And then sit down and, you know, why you're going through this, know that the person who offended you, who hurt you, that same person is going through some battles in their life. Sometimes people don't hurt us intentionally. No, they're going through something and they're acting out. And it's unfortunate we're around them and we just bear the hurt. We just bear the hurt. And listen, I know that feeling where you, when somebody hurts you and God blesses that person and you feel God is taking sides. You're like, this person hurt me so bad. This person should be dead. But why is this person leaving? God is taking side. No, God is not taking side. God is teaching you forgiveness. He's teaching you let to, let him to go. How to let go how to get to that point and say you know i want some peace i want some healing i don't want to get to resentment i don't want to get to that so what i will do I, it's a conscious effort to bring light and love around this person it's a conscious effort to say you know what whatever it is you're going through that you have you have hurt me out because of it or out of it i forgive you i lose you i set you free because you see what forgiveness unforgiveness does there's a lot about unforgiveness that unforgiveness is like taking poison and um, believing the heart the other person who had offended you will drop dead now that's not possible let's not deceive ourselves it doesn't work like that you take the poison you'll be the one falling dead you'll be the one dying so it actually takes nothing to forgive we we hurt people we seek for forgiveness if you have ever asked or seek or begged or pleaded to be forgiven i think you have every right to forgive anybody who have or who had done something to you but this is it about forgiveness the fact of forgiving you doesn't mean i've forgotten which is okay the fact of forgiving you doesn't mean we have to be friends which is okay the fact of forgiving you doesn't mean um you have to know everything about me not really but what forgiveness does is i know you hurt me but you aren't my enemy i'm not going to take anything away from you you're not my enemy it's just that i don't trust you enough in my circle but you are not my enemy. It's like the fact I lost a friend does not mean I have gained an enemy. Not at all. We can all coexist well. We can all be each other's friend, each other's brothers, each other's sisters. If we try to put ourselves in the positions um, these people have been in. Now, I understand how it's like when somebody scams you, when somebody swindled you, and you want to talk about forgiveness. I remember some years back, that should be in 2016, when my dad called me, and he was like, so someone sent a message to me, and the person said, I should send my ATM um, card, that's his credit card. He just said the PIN number or something like that to him. And he did send it. And this is an old man that's just saving a um, few coins. And then the person went to his account and the person withdrew everything. And he called. He was, he was so, so angry about it. About why um, the person had to do this and do that. When he told me, I was mad too. But the next day, 
I called him just to check up on him and he was all lighted. He was lightheaded about it. He was, you know, laughing and saying that ah, ah, so young people don't want to walk today. But then you don't know even they're young. You don't know the problems they have. Maybe he has a dying mother. Maybe he has a dying brother. A dying, you know, he was trying to make excuses for what this person had done. He had to take back that control, take back his happiness. He was swindled. It was, it was coins, but it was a whole lot of money to him. That was all he had. That was all he had. So he had to go to the bank the next day. They changed his pin and all of that. It was hurt. It was, it was hurting for him. It was bad for him. It was a bad time. But this man found a way to still find humor in it, to still make excuses for this person. You know, to still say, you know, whatever situation that was have first this person to do this to him, he prays God gives this person, let this person find the peace of God. Not everybody can do that. I can do that when you swindle me of 10,000 hours. No, I'm going to follow you on social media and everywhere and tell people how terrible and how much of a scam you are. But you do this, you continue doing this, you just keep hurting yourself. At some point, you have to let it go. At some point, you have to let it go. And this person will someday, someday understand that, look, I have hurt people too many times. But look, at one is holding me accountable for all the wrongs I have done. So when it comes to peace, when it comes to healing, when it comes to reconciliation of the body, soul, and spirit, it's nobody with you. It is you. It's all in you. You heal all by yourself. You deal with this issue all by yourself. So, taking us back, reconciliation, taking us back, forgiveness, taking us back, all of this. I just want us to understand that God loves us. God loves us. It's very, very hard um, to, especially for those who have been abused, domestic violence, sexual abuse. Uh, being scammed and all of that it's very painful it hurts i get the picture i understand and telling you to forgive it's not easy it is very hard but this is what i am saying about it that you also need to be at peace with yourself you need to be at peace with yourself you need to be um you need to have that final settlement with yourself so when this issues keep um coming over and over again you need to just take that break and say you know what i forgive this person i let it go i want my sanity i want to sit down and think well i want to function better because unforgiveness actually holds you in bondage thank you for being part of restitution we'll keep talking in restitution we'll have the clips on facebook on all of our social media platforms including our facebook and ig and we can always always take up your comments and your reactions and talk about it thank you for being part of the show the restitution where the asthma returns next time bye bye